Hey friends, welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm super glad you're here. My name's Leslie. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting subscribe, hit that bell notification, and give me a thumbs up. And of course, if you're back and you're one of my faithfuls, welcome back. I could not do this without you. So tonight, I'm throwing to, I'm cooking. I've been cooking all day goodies for Christmas, but I gotta do something for supper. So we're doing something super quick, super easy, and hopefully full of flavor. Um, it, I know it's quick and I know it's easy, but I've never made it, so I don't know about the flavor, but the things going in it sounds like it's going to pack a punch of flavor. So tonight we're making Mongolian beef. <music> Okay guys, so we have a little bit of a problem and I'll explain that in just a second. But let me turn you down here. I've got, maybe, maybe not. There we go. I've got two pounds of hamburger um, in my frying pan here. And I'm just gonna break it up and we're gonna brown this. I'm gonna add some minced garlic once it gets to going good. I'm not gonna add it now because I don't want to overcook the minced garlic. Um, so, and then that brings us to the other ingredient we're gonna add that we have a problem with. Okay, so this being an Asian inspired recipe calls for ginger. And I had ginger, I keep ginger. I thought, I cannot find it anywhere. It is not in my cabinet. And so I don't know if the ginger I thought I had was before the remodel and I purged it or if somebody's used it. I don't know, but I know I no longer have ginger in my cabinet. I have torn every spice out and um, cannot find it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add pinches of other spices it's not a perfect match to ginger, but it'll give it a warmth. And we're not gonna add a lot. We're just gonna add a little bit and um, hope for the best. I'm hoping that all the other flavors come through even though I don't have ginger. So, in place of the ginger, we're gonna add a pinch of allspice and a pinch of cinnamon. And with it, it's like I said, it's not a perfect match. It does not give it the exact taste of ginger. But um, I Googled it. What would we do without Google, right? Like, what do I use if I don't have ginger? So um, that's what it said. And it also said nutmeg and um, I think cardamom um, and just mix them together. I don't think I, I know I don't have any cardamom and I don't think I have any nutmeg right now. Um, so we're just going to add a pinch of cinnamon, a pinch of um, allspice, and call it good. So, when it's time to add those things, I'll bring you right back. Okay, y'all, I'm adding in a couple of spoonfuls of garlic. Let me go in with another one. We're going to put plenty of garlic. Since we're missing a flavor. <laughs> okay. So the meat mixture is cooking away. I've added the garlic. It's not ready yet by any means, but we're browning it. So let's go ahead and just add in a few shakes of cinnamon. Just a little. And a pinch of allspice. A couple of pinches. Oh, just one pinch. Okay, all right, so y'all cross your fingers. I don't know, but it smells good. We'll see if it works. It smells really, really good. Okay, we're just gonna let this cook away and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, y'all, while the beef is cooking, let's put together our sauce. Okay, so in this container here, let's go in with three-fourths cup of 
soy. Maybe. There's a fourth. I need to take that thing out in the top, but I'm not going to. Y'all just have to wait for me to pour it. <laughs> Two. That's going to use up about our soy sauce. And our Christmas Eve tradition is we order in um, Chinese. All right. There is three-fourths cup of soy. Here's a whole can of beef broth. Let me grab a whisk, too. I need a whisk. Okay. Uh, we're going to add in a pinch of red pepper flakes. Not many. Just a, just a few. Um, we're going to add in some black pepper. Not from there. We're not. It's empty. Back up black pepper. That's about a teaspoon. Okay, we're also going to add into this, uh, let's see how much, a half a cup of brown sugar. I may need a bigger bowl. I may need a bigger bowl. Half cup of brown sugar, and I'm packing it well. Okay, now one last ingredient to go in the sauce, that is. And we're going to add about a half a cup plus some of hoisin. Uh, I'm going to add a half a cup plus a, two tablespoons, probably. And this is thick sauce, so it's going to take me a little bit. And I have another jar. I need it. That molasses thick. But oh, so good. <coughs> we may just make do with this one container. Okay, I'm going to finish filling this up. Got to give it the bang. The bang thing. <coughs> All right, we're just going with half a cup. I mean, oh wait, y'all, I'm trying to fill it up again. I don't need this half a cup. I've already put one, so I just need a little bit out of this one. All right, now I've got to put this back in the container. Good thing I was paying attention before I, um, before I put it in. Okay, I'm going to give this a stir and get it all mixed up. And uh, I've got to drain the meat, and then I will meet you back over at the meat. Okay, y'all, I have drained the grease um, where we're at. And over here on this side, I've got a pot of water boiling because we're going to fix some noodles. But first, I'm going to go ahead and get this sauce poured in the meat. I'm going to pour a little bit out just so I can stir it better. We're going to pour that in and just let that cook on low for a little bit and let the, let the juices reduce somewhat. And um, let me grab the noodles. I'll show you what kind of noodles we're going to fix. Okay, guys, in the pot over there, I have um, started a, a box of linguine noodles. They're a little bit larger than spaghetti, uh, but very much like spaghetti, but a little bit larger. Um, so I'm bringing this actually back up to a boil. Uh, the meat, I'm going to let this juice cook down. And, um, and then when the noodles are ready, we'll put them over into this. Um, as much as we think. I may have extra noodles. I may not want to use them all. But I went ahead and cooked them because... I can make buttered noodles or something for somebody and feta cheese, and that will be delicious. So um, we're just cooking them all. We'll be back when the, this reduces and the noodles are ready to go in. 
Okay guys, we're gonna add our noodles in now. They're very hot. <laughs> They're very, very hot. So let me um, drain them first. Okay guys, we're gonna add in our noodles. I've drained them here. I am gonna get burnt yet. <laughs> Ever have them days that you just are bound and determined to do something wrong? Sounds like me today. All right, I'm gonna stop there and just swirl that around in the meat mixture and see if I want more noodles or if I wanna save those for something else. want it to be all noodles, but I don't want it to not have enough either. Let me call Brian in here and see what he thinks. If he thinks that I need to add more noodles, um, we will. So let me see what he says and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, he has, uh, hang on, look who's stirring it up. Hey, hmm. he I think says, it's enough noodles. He thinks it's enough. So what we're going to do now when he's through stirring, what? we're going to garnish. It's we're going to garnish with some green onions. And I did have some toasted, I mean some um, sesame seeds, so I toasted them up, and so we'll garnish with toasted sesame seed. I thought it was quinoa. Quinoa, nope, sesame seed. And then, I'm going to take a picture, <laughs> and then, so it can go on YouTube. we will um, get ready to eat. I don't know how we're going to eat all this. I thought Isaac might come home tonight, but um, it looks like he may be waiting until tomorrow. Leftovers for tomorrow. Yep, we can have them as leftovers. So Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Okay, guys. Really it is delicious. So let me take a picture, and then we'll come back and taste it for you. Okay, guys. Here is Brian's arm. <laughs> Here's our Mongolian beef and noodles, and I'm just um, serving it with some egg rolls that came from Audi, and mm. there it is. Let's see what Bryant thinks of it. The egg rolls are phenomenal. The egg rolls are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And why don't you taste what I made? <laughs> Those are a great she did, she thing. Did, you did them in the air fryer. I do them in the air fryer. Comes with his own duck sauce. Mm -hmm. That he's not leaving me much of. I've never figured out why it's duck sauce. I don't know either. All right, we ready? I'm ready. There we go. Look at that. Look at that great, guys. What's this supposed to taste like? Mongolian beef? Mongolian beef and noodles. <laughs> I'm just saying, is it savory? Is it sweet? It's kind it of savory sweet. Um, Really good. Very good. Got a little sweet hint to it. It's got a little bit of heat to it. Not a whole lot of heat. Oh, it's real good. Very flavorful. All right, guys. Definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper. Here, let me work, let me get you trying yours. Okay. Okay, guys. You kind of have to slurp it like spaghetti. I hate you. You got to slurp it, but you got to slurp it. All right, here we go. Look at that proper etiquette. Mm. That's mm -hmm. good. No, if that was proper etiquette, I would have a spoon and twirl it on mm -hmm. the spoon. Um, that's how much you slurp. That's really good. That's how much you slurp, slurping it. <laughs> that is super, super good. That is super good in it. Very. I don't miss the ginger at all. Um, I, I would still make it with ginger if I had the ginger. Was she coming for supper, ginger? No, ginger. Yeah, she's still on the island. <laughs> <laughs> um, but see, if you don't have the ginger. <clears throat> The cinnamon and pinch of allspice was a great substitute. Good job, little buddy. Good job, little buddy, Skipper. All right, baby dog. Mm -hmm. That's good. Are you going to let me eat or watch you eat? 
I'm going to let you eat. Not till you sign off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the Farm and Pastures Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.